What's up guys, this episode we're talking about adding a CDN to your Rails app to improve performance. So we're gonna be talking about specifically Amazon CloudFront, but this will apply to other CDNs out there if you wanna use something different. But the concept is very similar for all of them. A CDN is going to cache files in your application that don't change maybe hardly ever, and it's going to distribute them around the world. So users in Germany will get a local data center to ask for that file. Maybe it's your logo, your CSS, or your JavaScript. Doesn't really matter what the asset is, but you can have them download things locally to them. Imagine if you're streaming videos on Netflix, if those videos were not distributed across the world, if you are in Germany trying to stream a video from California, it's obviously going to take a lot more time to do that, more latency. So CDNs allow you to start downloads a lot quicker, plus they're on a different domain usually, and so the benefit of that is that your browser can download more files in parallel. So your browser's set up to download, say, six or eight files from the same domain at once. If you have 18 different files that your browser needs to download, whether it's logos, background images, CSS, JavaScript, you name it, if it has to download a lot of those files, it can only do a few of them at a time. And so this is going to help by allowing you to do more at once when your site is loading. So the benefits of the CDN are very, very helpful and something that can make the improvements of performance on your site pretty significant. So let's dive into implementing AWS CloudFront.